What's up guys, this is Ernest Bishop for another version of Ernest Goes to Germany. And as I said with my other video, I'm going to walk you guys through every process, every bump in the road that I go through. I want you guys to see what I go through so you don't make the same mistakes that I did. And Ernest messed up. Guys, I bought my ticket and everything was great. I'm supposed to be leaving next week. I checked the ticket again to, today. And I come to find out that my ticket was the wrong date. I had a ticket set for September. Oh my no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 It would have been, it would have really sucked if I went to the airport and found out that I didn't have a ticket. So, I called up the airline and I tried to get my date changed. Guys... Keep in mind, when you buy a ticket, quadruple check your date before you press purchase. Because once you purchase that ticket, the airline will have it. It's their, it's their money. So if you try to change the date on that ticket, they're going to charge you anywhere from $150 to $200 on that ticket just to change the date. But once you change the date or you pay that $200, you got to pay the difference on that ticket also so say if I change my ticket from say September to next week and the, the ticket is now for next week a thousand dollars I gotta pay the difference on that plus the 200 so when I try to change the ticket the ticket that is out now was a thousand sixty seven dollars so I had to pay the 200 plus the extra 500 on that ticket which is like 700 extra bucks just to change a date just to change a date so, I called up the other airline and I was like, okay, well, I'm not trying to pay 700 extra bucks on a ticket that I already purchased, so what can I do for a refund? Most tickets don't have a refund. You need to pay attention to that. If you don't have a refund on your ticket, that's a problem. So I was like, okay, but there's another option. You can cancel the ticket. So I asked them, I was like, okay, what if I cancel the ticket and just try to buy, purchase a whole new ticket? They proceeded to tell me, that, okay, I can cancel the ticket, that's fine, but will I get a refund? No. They'll give me 50% of what I paid for my ticket. This is bullshit. So I paid $547.47 for my ticket. I only get half of that back. The airline keeps the other half. So it's either I pay $700 or I take half of what I already paid. Of course I took half, which sucks and pisses me off. But, you know, what can you do? You know, you got to take the lesser of two evils, as they say. So I took the half and I made a, a charitable donation to the airport. I mean, to the airline of 200 and some change, which really drives me crazy because I just bought the ticket. So I had to do that. I, I, took, I took that loss, unfortunately. And I just went back on the site and I bought a whole new ticket for 400 something. So actually, I came out better, but I'm still in the hole for 200 something bucks, which really sucks. But guys, when you buy a ticket, please pay attention to the date. Before I purchased this ticket, I double checked, I triple checked, I quadruple checked the date just to make sure I didn't make that mistake again. It really sucks to lose money like that, especially when you're about to go overseas, because when you talk about converting that money over to, to another currency like the euro, you want to have all the money you can in your pocket. So that's a hiccup in the road for Ernest. Just almost there, but we got another ticket and we're still going to be rolling out on time. Stay tuned, like, subscribe, keep my words, don't make the same mistake I did. Uh -huh.